welcome. If there is any possibility to increase parliamentarian uh, you know, relations, because we would be very much interested in doing so. Voglio rivolgere il mio ringraziamento a nome di tutti gli amici che fanno parte del gruppo interparlamentare. Aung San Suu Kyi rappresenta, rappresenta il coraggio delle scelte difficili, delle scelte che condizionano una vita, rappresenta l'amore della libertà, l'amore per il proprio paese ed è un simbolo, un simbolo per tutte noi donne che agli ideali ci siamo sempre ispirate. No woman can become the president of Burma under the new constitution, under the present constitution, because it requires the uh, person to have military experience. And you talked about courage. Now, at the moment, I think those who need to be most courageous of all are the military. They need to have the courage to accept that amendments to the constitution are necessary and to support these amendments in the name of a happier nation. That is where courage is really necessary. Uh, they have, they supported the present constitution, but now I think they should have the courage to say it is time for a change. And I think this has to begin with the rule of law. I was emphasizing the, uh, the importance of rule of law when I was speaking to the Senate earlier. This is what rule of just laws means that there should be just laws that apply equally to all citizens as well as non-citizens. I think we have to take responsibility of all human beings who live within our frontiers, who live within the boundaries of our nation. So what we are thinking of in terms of rights is not just for women or for men, or for particular, even for particular minorities, but for all. I think it's not just men and women. We don't want a country where all the women are sick and all the men are fine. That would be very bad. <laughs> very proud of you. Go ahead. With your determination, go ahead. Thank you. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.